So again, just another short video. This one is to describe how the home learning booklets um, work or how they've been put together and the, the kind of expectations we have of um, what we're trying to support you to do at home. Um, like I said in the last video, it if you're finding this time really stressful, there's absolutely no expectation that you deliver any kind of teaching or curriculum to your child. The reason we're publishing this stuff is just to give some ideas of the types of opportunities you might want to give to your child um, while they're at home during this time. And we, we've built in a little bit of structure to that. But absolutely, we do not expect parents to, to kind of slavishly kind of work through these booklets or anything like that. So I just want to make that really clear. So the booklets themselves should look like this. We've emailed them out to all parents. The, um, each class will have received a slightly different booklet. So there is, depending on which class your child is in in the school, you will have received a different booklet linked to the topic that your child was doing in school this term. The plan is that we will publish these on a half-termly basis. If this does become a prolonged uh, partial closure, we might publish these more frequently. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is just talk you through the sections that are in the booklet um, and exactly how they kind of work. But I'm also going to explain some of the things around the videos and that kind of thing that we'll do to support learning from the booklets as well. So if I take this one as an example, this is class two's booklet on gardens and greenhouses. Um, what we've got at the front of the booklet is just a brief explanation about what it is and the areas that it covers. So you'll recognize the areas from your child's annual review or their EHC plan, their, their areas from the code of practice. So cognition and learning, communication and interaction, sensory and physical development, social, emotional and mental health. So it is divided up into those areas. If we move on, you can see in the next page is they have a little bit of a section on play, um, kind of what is play, what are the types of play, some ideas about how you might develop play outside in the back garden and that kind of thing. And then it moves into some of the uh, sections that I just mentioned. So we have communication and interaction. Under communication and interaction, your teacher will have put a range of activities that would be relevant to the entire class. So they might not all be entirely relevant to your child. You'll have to have a quick look at them and see what which ones you think might be worth having a go at. And there will be a description of those activities. There might be pictures of the activities and there might be links to kind of websites or videos that would support that activity. The next section, which is quite an important section, is a cognition and learning section on early developmental skills. So these are the types of skills for children who aren't yet engaged in subject specific learning. So they're not doing numbers, they're not reading or um, doing what might you might recognize as kind of subject, school subject learning. This is for children who are at an earlier developmental level, still working on things like cause and effect and um, things like object permanence, that the understanding that an object still exists even though you can't see it and that kind of thing. Very early communication and very early cognition skills. So there'll be some ideas in there, again, with pictures of activities, links to websites and links to videos that might be useful as well. So that's a really useful section. Once you get past that section, the booklet becomes a lot more specific. So it starts to become divided up into these areas like physical development, literacy, numeracy, social, emotional, and mental health. Um, the social, emotional, and mental health section, I would suggest is really important. You know, during this partial closure, we've got a lot of children who are very used to structure. Structure is very important to them and they're they expect to go to school, they expect to do other activities, they're expecting to see other family members, that kind of thing. But instead, they're just kind of trapped in the house or in the garden. Um, there's some nice activities that teachers have thought of in here just to support the children's emotional well-being. Um, for, for children that can listen to stories and understand stories, there's some nice social stories around um, not being at school and, and that kind of thing. So definitely worth looking at. And then it moves on to sections on expressive arts and design and understanding the world. So there's lots of artistic and musical activities there with links to videos and YouTube videos that would support that and that kind of thing. And there's also a lot of activities in the understanding the world section that are around science and history and RE. Obviously with Easter coming up, a range of Easter activities appearing 
across the booklet as well. The last section in the booklet is a kind of anything else type section where just nice activities you might want to do with your child are listed by your class teacher. Um, things like recipes, things you might want to bake, things you might want to do outside. And, and a lot of the teachers have included a range of links as well to other websites with cause and effect games on them and that kind of thing. So that, that's how the booklets work. Like I say, they should be published um, every half term, more frequently if this goes on for a prolonged period of time. But let us know how you get on with them. They're, they've all been emailed out. If you didn't get the email, they're also available on the website under the Parents and Carers tab in the Home Activity section. They're just listed by class, so you'll easily be able to find them. And they're, they're PDF files, so they should be easy to read on any device, phone, laptop, tablet, whatever. So um, let us know how you get on. Thank you.